tonight, including the NEW Women's Championship. And you know what? Fuck them. Let's do it right now. This match is scheduled for one fall. Come into the ring first. Jordan, we begin this evening at the Commodore exactly how we left off last time we were in this building, where Nicole Matthews claimed the NEW Women's hey, Championship and Cat Power came out to greet her to let her know what she had in store. Justin, the ovation for Nicole Matthews, the NEW Women's Champion. It's electric here at the Commodore Ballroom, being played to the ring by Brasser. Uh, we have a little pre-show musical entertainment here at the Commodore. What a night we've already had. Absolutely. And it's not as though the champ hasn't been busy as she awaits this challenge from Cat Power. Of course, Nicole put that belt up for grabs. One month ago at Nat Bailey Stadium, defending in a triple threat against both Bambi Hall and Taryn from Accounting, who we will see a little later on this evening in a women's six-person tag match. But she was able to emerge from that one victorious, and she'll look to do the same here tonight against one of her longest ever rivals, a woman who you could say has had Nicole's number in the past and could dial it up again here tonight for the NEW Women's Championship. Not just having Nicole's number in the past, but having Nicole's number in this very building. These two have a very storied rivalry throughout the Pacific Northwest and especially here at the Commodore. Absolutely, there's not that many surfaces and ledges that these two haven't either thrown each other off of or launched themselves off of to hit the other down below. They are known to go flying from the balcony when they are in the Commodore Ballroom. We'll see if it escalates to that extent over the course of this contest. Referee signals, the bell is rung, we are underway. This crowd's so loud we didn't even hear the bell. Nicole having to call for it to be rung again, having a little fun with the ring crew. And Cat Power is fired up trying to get this crowd in her corner. These are her people here at the Commodore. Nicole would say, of course, they're her people too, but Cat calling the Commodore home for a good many years, and she's back here tonight looking to claim the crown. They mentioned Nicole Matthews being uh, in action at Matt Bay Stadium. Cat Power as well picked up a big win at that show. Absolutely, a nice little momentum builder. She was trying to cement herself heading into this one against Izzy McQueen, picked up a big W. That's right. Can she make it two in a row? It would be three in a row, given the way she earned herself into this spot by winning that big women's gauntlet match back at NEW for Life in June right here in this building. See, and that's just the type of competitor Cat Power is. Using a match at Nat Bailey Stadium to really test herself and tune up for this. 
could she have maybe taken a month off to recover, to plan, to strategize, perhaps? But no, she's a fighter. She's going to get out there, get her reps in, and get ready for this opportunity here. And this thing is getting a little bit intense already in the early stages. The dislike between these two women is palpable. And Nicole perhaps getting taken off guard at the moment by the level of fight the cat has in her. Yeah, it's only been about three minutes, but it feels like we are a long time removed from that handshake to start this match. Smart elbow from the champion into the gut of power. She drives her into the ring post. Looking for the victory right there, but Cat able to kick out, and this match continues. Well, you think about the familiarity with an opponent, even though we've been doing this for a year here in NEW, these two haven't had a chance to square off here yet, but again, they're so familiar with each other from going up and down the road. Tons of classic battles between these two over the years. And, and a little bit of one. disrespect right there from the champion. Giving Cat a little slap on the head after those early pin attempts from the challenger. Now they're gonna exchange shoves back and forth. Pop to the jaw from Nicole. High faces there. And a full on slap now. Nicole Matthews may come to regret this. She has awakened the beast in cat power. That animal instinct, and cat's going crazy. Big scoop slam. Kick to the gut. Off the ropes, another kick. Elbow drop. Power hooks the leg. And a kick out at two for Nicole Matthews, the champ pressured early in this one. That's the thing about Cat Power. She's a fighter, like I said. That might not be the only time this match we see such a flurry of forearms from her. Yeah, it's real easy to shake hands at the start of a match, Justin. But we'll see if there's a handshake at the end of this thing. Cool discovering that sometimes when you poke the bear, you end up getting mauled. And that is certainly what happened moments ago, but it's the champion back in control. Work the joints. Tremendous arm ringer there on Cat Power, trying to get some feeling back in that arm. Justin, what are your thoughts on having to wear the kinesio tape when you are in a match? Is that essentially just a bullseye? I mean, it's it's twofold because obviously you do need that assistance. You're applying it for a reason, but you are giving your opponent basically a roadmap of how to inflict the maximum damage over the course of a match, and Nicole Matthews doing just that right now as she wrenches the fingers of that bad arm and just pop that shoulder. Cat is feeling that one. She is navigating her way to pain town right now. Also important to note, that takes away at least 50% of the striking ability from, uh, from Cat Power targeting that arm. These are two hometown favorites. This crowd really right now cheering for Cat Power, but it's the champion going to work with an arm bar on that injured shoulder. She's already worked the wrist and the shoulder, trying to do a number on that elbow as well, but Cat able to find the ropes and she'll get a break on that hold. Now let's talk about Nicole Matthews, year one here at NEW. We've seen a wide variety of matches and styles from Nicole Matthews. Obviously the mat classic that she had with Daniel Makabe. One of the finest matches we've had here all year. A match, in fact, that she was very appreciative of, said she got to showcase a side of herself, the wrestler that she's always wanted to be. But she seems a good distance from that right now as Cat Power is dragging her into a fight. This is not about grappling. This is not about holds. This is about hatred. And Kat has that intensity right now. Can it take her all the way to a championship? She's running the bases like she's back at Nat Bailey Stadium right now. Of all the things you mentioned hatred, Justin, of all the things Cat Power hates, not being champion, not being the face of the women's division has to be super high up on that list. And it's been a meteoric rise for Cat since her return to the ring earlier this year. She'd been out of action for a couple of years. Of course, the pandemic responsible for that in part as well, but ever since she's been back, she's been trying to prove herself that she still belongs with this up and coming crop of newcomers in the NEW women's division. And there's no better way to prove you belong than to head up the division as champion.
And that's the thing, both of these competitors just reminding me of great moments in NEW over this year, not just Nicole Matthews and the variety of matches she's had, but also, as you said, the return of Cat Power. What a great moment that was at the Harbor Convention Center when she came back. Can she cap off year one of NEW by becoming our new, new champion? Cat looking skyward. Known to land on her feet. But she's taken off the turnbuckle by the champion. And a rake of the nose from Power. These women getting downright dirty. There is some real distaste oh, for the competition. No love lost between two hard fought battlers. What a vicious neck breaker on that steel cable holding the turnbuckle to the ring post. That's the thing about Nicole Matthews. She'll use every inch of that ring to hurt you. I often talk about the fact that Nicole Matthews only really well received by crowds in her hometown. Not really a fan favorite when she hits the road and travels elsewhere. And maybe that side of her coming out a little bit here this evening. What do we call her at one point, though? She's the Alex Burroughs of any note. Absolutely. We love her here, but elsewhere she is a devastating villain. But a little bit of underhandedness emerging from the champion against the challenger who not only has had her number in the past, but certainly has this crowd behind her here at the Commodore as well. Nicole locking in a chin lock yet again, and Power's just in agony. Nicole Matthews again, probably working over the back of that neck, working over the head area, potentially to set up for the Cravada Plata submission, which we've seen multiple times this year in NEW. And of course, that not only is a submission applied to the neck, but probably that shoulder area that she's been targeting throughout this match as well, Jordan. It's a very clear, very deliberate plan from the women's champion here tonight that we're seeing. Nicole was not able to get the win just yet after that brutal neck breaker onto the steel of the turnbuckle, but it may factor into the way this match comes to a close. After all, as another big move targeting that neck of Cat Power as she was draped over that middle rope. Cat's not making it easy for herself. After that slap, you saw her uh, kind of taunt her jaw jack on Nicole Matthews a little bit, not backing down at all, even when she's on the receiving end of that offense. Champion in control, taking Cat up to the top rope, perhaps. Looking for a backdrop suplex off the top rope, or perhaps a poison Rana. We'll see. Whatever she elects to do, it spells bad news for the challenger. Any opportunity Nicole Matthews has with Cat Power prone, she is targeting the back of the head and the neck area. But Kat's got some fight left in her, and listen to this crowd come alive. Nicole Matthews in a bad way here, hung up on that top rope. Kent Power misses the double stomp. Now Kat Power reversing onto the turnbuckle. And Nicole Matthews with the back elbows. Again, the familiarity between these two. Is she gonna fly? Are we about to see a moonsault from Matthews? And once again, these two know each other all too well. Another reversal as Cat is able to roll out of the way. And some self-inflicted damage from the champion as Cat sends her right back into that corner. And here she comes with a running lariat. Another stiff clothesline. Hooks the heel. Elbow into that sternum of Matthews. Can she drag her into the ring for a cover? She does, and the champion able to get a shoulder up before three. Cat Power, such a smart striker. You notice she is using her good arm for all of those strikes, so she gets full power. Sit down collarbone slam, again using that good right arm and trying to minimize the usage of her left arm. Smart wrestler. They say that a cat Smart has wrestler. nine lives and 
power certainly on to life number two in this match as she's caught her second win, but here comes Nicole. Cat able to reverse out. They're gonna meet in the middle of the ring, a huge shoulder block, the power of Cat. Wow. Cat maybe a bit slow to capitalize. She used that bad left shoulder for that shoulder block. And the champion just able to get a heel on the bottom rope to break up that pin. That is veteran ring awareness from Nicole Matthews. It's Cat's time to shine. Can she put this one away? Stiff elbows from Nicole Matthews, getting herself out of that fireman's carry. Oh, and the elbows continue down on the neck of Cat Power. Just raining strikes into that neck and shoulder area, a bridging German suplex, and Cat able to kick out. But Nicole hangs on. Again, the vicious strikes to the back of Cat Power. There's only so much someone can take, Justin. This is just brutality. The fisherman spin there. And again, what an impact. And had to blow out the lungs of Cat Power, but she's able to stay alive in this match, and Nicole Matthews can't believe it. Now you say that, but she had to take an extra second after landing that spinning fisherman slam before she went for the cover. That made all the difference. Stiff kicks from Nicole into the chest of power. And yet with every single strike, Kat just becomes more determined in her resolve. Hit me again, she's saying. Is that the best you've got? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the defiance of Cat Power to the bitter end. And Nicole Matthews is pissed. I know she hasn't exactly been a ray of sunshine for most of the match, but this is a new gear from Nicole Matthews after that spit right to the face. And where she is furious. Will this fury take her, Jordan? She's got the cravat lock around the neck as she lands those knees. Maybe looking to transition that into the cravat plata. Instead, we've got a bit of a guillotine choke there. And keep in mind, she's been working that area all match. Again, can Nicole find a way to finish her off? Or does Power have a little bit left in the tank? The arm falls twice, one more, and this thing's over! But Cat Power is on to life number three in this match. Now Nicole Matthews putting all of her weight on the neck area of Cat Power. Oh, she's fading, Justin. What do I know? <laughs> you would think <laughs> with that choke, but she is just inspired by the reception that these people are giving her. And oh my. The hammerlock drop, the shock up the spine of Nicole Matthews. This could be it. That spine still somehow able to lift one shoulder up as Nicole's still in this thing and looking for a submission yet again. No, Kat's gonna bring her up into that fireman's carry. Schoolboy. Oh, Cravata Plata! Cravata Plata, she's got it locked in! Cat Power is far from the ropes. This looks bad. Nicole has won so many oh. matches with this maneuver over the course of the last six months. Will she add another name to her list? Ah, oh, that's... As Cat Power taps out to the Cravado Plata. And Nicole Matthews' reign will live for at least one more day. Long live the queen of the Pacific Northwest, Nicole Matthews. What an incredible match to kick us off here at NEW9, the first anniversary show. We'll be talking about that one for a year, I'm sure of it. 
And if I had to put money on it, Jordan Bowman, I would say this is not the last time that these two will cross paths in an NEW ring.